Hey everybody, this is Robbie with Robbie's Reptiles. Today I wanted to talk about my all-time favorite Lily Whites in my collection. Coming in at number three is Ishtar, my soft scale Lily White. She definitely isn't my least favorite. If anything, she's probably one of my most favorite lilies ever, but kind of all the three that I'm gonna be focusing on in this video are my all-time favorites. She is really awesome because not only the soft scale gene, her head structure is to die for with a super wide dorsal, probably one of the widest dorsals that I've seen on a lily, weighing in at about 60 to 65 grams after a season, but she's ready to start her next season. She hasn't laid in over four months, and currently I have her paired up with a possible super soft red patternless male because I am trying to get her to make the world's first super soft red phantom lily white. I think that's gonna be to die for. So I have some very high hopes for this female down the road. The reason why I think she's gonna do well with a possible super soft red patternless male is because her cheeks are actually red, as you can see. So I think that she will produce some red lilies right off the bat. So because of that blushing that she has, I think she's gonna make red lilies right off the bat. Things that I know that could be improved upon, she has a little bit too much highlighter yellow for my taste. I really like white. It's called lily white. I wanna keep it white, you know what I mean? But I mean, her head structure is insane. Look at this. And she's posing perfectly too. Literally, she's probably my all time, one of my all time favorite crested geckos. But yeah, in terms of lilies, for me, this is pretty much cream of the crop. Uh, hopefully I can make a super soft from her and uh, be able to keep it up and grow it up and then compare her, a soft scale lily, to a super soft lily, one of her offspring down the road. Now the second lily white on that list has to be this female, which is for some reason named Noodle. That's what Gwee's Gecko had named her before, so I just kept it because I'm too lazy to come up with more names. She is an absolute showstopper. A uh, little, little sneak peek, I took her to a show recently that I may or may not have been vending. She is getting pretty dang close to having no base color, and I'm sure that her offspring will end up not having any. And she has a really wide dorsal as well, which I've learned is something that a lot of people like, apparently. Okay, head structure, I've seen better especially because her body is so large. I think that she could improve upon that in some way. So next season, I'll probably pair her to something like Cowboy to really improve that head structure in the offspring. But I mean, in terms of lilies, I mean, it can't get much better than this, right? This is my number one lily white that I own, and she is Moonshine Sybin one of the most incredible lily whites that I've ever seen. No, 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 I know what you're gonna say, but Robbie, she doesn't have that good of head structure, especially compared to Ishtar and Noodle. But look at that pattern. You guys know Extreme Harlequin is my type, that triple Xing, everything like that. She has to be one of the most impressive looking pattern wise. My opinion, that's all I'm saying. I think this is one of the most impressive lily whites out there. And she's actually the first Lily White that I ever owned. So that's kind of why she's number one on my list. Interestingly enough, while she does have a black base color, she has rosy cheeks. What does that mean? I don't know. Just pure white. And that's my favorite thing about Lilies is if you hit it right, you can just get the purest white dorsal. And she is just the perfect example of that. And with this awesome extreme Harlequin, very vertical-like pattern, almost tigering, triple X-like, this just has to be the pinnacle of Lily Whites for me. I just want to keep making more and more of her. I really don't think it gets much better than this. Because sometimes, believe it or not, you can have too much pattern and then you can't even see the shape of the pattern. You can't even see the base color. So for me, this is literally the perfect ex amount of expression. She's pure white, none of that highlighter yellow. For me, this is pretty much as good as Lily Whites can get. 